What colour is a Biscayne kitchen going to be? It's been every colour. It's been green, it's been pink, it's been yellow. <laughs> The overall vision for this kitchen, we wanted it to feel like a big family space where you could all congregate. We have the massive island bench and key to the design was dining table at one end and the functional kitchen at the other. This space is actually really big, so we wanted to use gutsy appliances. So we went to winning appliances who just understood our brief and they've got the most incredible products that cemented the whole design for us here. I could not go past that Ilvi Majestic Oven. It's a work of art in itself and it really is the central focus of this kitchen. Because this home, I wanted to have that hotel feel, I wanted to feel, I guess, a little bit commercial in a way. So we went for the most insane Fiaba fridge. It's gutsy, it's almost masculine in a way. It's stainless steel. It just pops in this kitchen, which actually has a lot of brass. When the joinery design team and I sat down together, we wanted to make sure that we bought something different to this home, something that hadn't been designed. But with all things design, you take your influence from the past and from things that you've seen. And believe it or not, the whole ideology behind the joinery panels here were taken from a pair of 18th century Chinese doors. We took this idea and we made them into contemporary joinery panels. Farmers Doors took our vision and we workshopped it until we got absolute perfection. When you're sitting up at that bench and you've got the beautiful lighting and you open up those lattice doors, the whole kitchen takes on a completely different personality. talked about design issue that we needed to resolve was what colour is a Biscayne kitchen going to be? And I've got to tell you, it's, it's been every colour. It's been green, it's been pink, it's been yellow, it's been blue. And we ended up settling on white, which would sound really counterintuitive coming out of the KWD design office. But in this case, I really wanted the texture to be the colour. And so we used textural joinery panels but then we also specified the most incredible stone from Gladstone Granite. It's called Amazonia, it comes out of Brazil. It has so much depth and personality. The range hood ended up being a bit of an engineering feat and Damien from DMA Kitchens did an amazing job to create two concave intersecting sections on the range hood. I couldn't be happier with the way it looks. It, it frames that Ilby oven so perfectly. It gives it its sense of place and it really is the focal part of that kitchen.